Hi, my name is Wayne Briggs. I am a teacher here at Hurricane Middle School. I teach Business Office Specials, which is Microsoft Office Systems. I would like to talk to you a little bit about an important subject. It's what I will discuss if I'm picked to work with the CERTPORT conference. It's class management. You know, you can take a horse and bring him to the water, but you can't force him to drink. Now, we've heard that saying many, many times. We know it, but it's so true. It doesn't matter if you have all the fun games in the world, if you make it super exciting, if the kids do not want to participate, if they don't feel a need to participate, they're not going to. You have to be able to encourage them and employ them to move forward and do the work. So our school district is Washington County School District in the state of Utah. We've had some high numbers year after year in the certification tests. Part of the reason why is because we take it as a priority. Our school district thinks business office specialists is so important that it is required to graduate high school. And so one of the things I do when I talk to the kids, I talk very honestly with them. I say, hey, guys, sometimes this class can be boring. Sometimes this class can be hard, but you know what? You have to pass this class in order to be able to get a high school diploma. But more important, you have to pass this class and learn how to you do the things that you learn in this class so you can make it in life. Let's face it, one of the first things I say to the kids is I say, let's face it, there is not a job, an occupation out there that doesn't require a computer and understanding computer skills and more specifically business office special skills. You need to understand how to do spreadsheets. You need to how to be able to use Word inside, out, sideways, and backwards. You need to be able to do a presentation on PowerPoint. PowerPoint is not just doing presentations in college, although it's done quite often and the kids need to understand that almost every class requires them to do a good PowerPoint. PowerPoint is required in presenting to bosses. It's required in presenting to clients. It's required for even presenting ideas to other fellow workers. So understanding how to do this and being able to do it correctly has become a very important aspect of life and of occupation. So my point to them will be not so much Hey, let me make this fun for you so that you can get through the class, but matter, you need to do this class. Now to do that, you have to have good class management. And it breaks down to a couple of different things. First of all, in this age group, who they're sitting with and how they're sitting is such a big priority. And so one of the things I'll talk about is what I do to get the seating arrangements set up, how we set up teams, and how the teams are picked so that we don't have a group of kids just all hanging out with their buddies and doing nothing but laughing and having a good time. They're intermixed with kids that need their help and kids that are able to help. We teach, I teach them the importance of teamwork and I explain the big difference between collaboration versus cheating. When the, the students are given the assignments, they are given the assignments, they're given the instructions, and they're given the solution. Because you know what? We don't care so much what solution they get, but how they got the solution. What skills did they use to get to that solution? And so they're taught that, the big difference between collaboration and cheating. The most important thing is we wanna create a comfortable process. Kids can work, if they understand a process, they can work into that process, and they become to a point where, okay, I know what I'm doing, this makes sense, I feel comfortable here, I can do this. And that's what it's about, it's about building up that, that ability to understand what needs to be done. And most important is, there's two different spectrums. There's recognition for having success and the reality of having to have success. So we do two different things. I recognize them on a board. These kids see their, their fellow teammates. They see their, their classmates. They see what they've done. This was the, the kids that were certified last year in Word, the ones that were certified in PowerPoint. As we all know, Excel is a little harder. And they struggle in that. So you make sure that they understand that and then we're going to spend extra time to make it um, them to have more success in Excel. We have the MOS certified students from last semester, the MOS certified students from this, excuse me, from the previous semester and from this semester that just come. I have kids come in and want to show their friends and point out that they successfully were able to get onto this board. So that's recognition. But at the same time, they have to have a, the reality of what the importance of doing this class is. To do that, on the very first day, we go through a syllabus. We talk about 
what expectations we have. It's a detail. And we have them take it home to their parents and they have the parents sign it. At the same time, we keep it short and simple. And we explain to them the, the four levels of what Business Office Best is about. Graduating high school, trying to get an A, becoming certified, and hopefully your school district will be able to recognize the value of this program, get with a college, and turn it into a CE program, which is what we have just done this year. I'm telling you right now, we can talk further on about the, uh, the instructions that we utilize to help them to know what they need to do to be able to pass the certification test, et cetera. That's all the kind of things we can talk about in the presentation that you would like, I would like to have you let me do. But bottom line, plain and simple, it's about making the kids want to do the work. Thank you.